What's going on everybody? This is your pal Patrick with another Is Blab video and what you're looking at is, I don't know what to call it, a mounting arm, a supporting arm, but it's an arm that I put my cell phone on top of so I can do, so I can do top down recordings, in this case of me sketching in my sketchbook. There are a couple of videos that I have planned for this. Uh, I did have a request to show how I made the, the graphics art glove out of the dress sock so I'll definitely be using this for that too but um, that's what this video is about I'm about to show you guys how I put this together what I did and all the great and wonderful jazz so without further ado <laughs>
This will hold the phone. The phone will sit right in there. I'm going to use the phone to record stuff, like top down. So this will hold the phone. And then I'll have this on here, like, like so. It will be a... Um, oh, well, I forgot what that's called. A groove to fit this into so that I can you know, tilt up and down. There'll be a nut here. I'm not gonna worry about the this swivel here. I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm just gonna make it permanent and uh, put that right in there and then there'll be a T-nut that I'll put in here so that the bolt can go through the arm into there and it'll swivel just like this. Okay, now. Picture that assembly at the end of this arm, maybe this end here, okay, sitting there on, well, on this side, you know, doing its thing, and this end attached to a clamp that just goes on my desk, and it'll be a, well, it'll be a, a block of wood on here, but the block of wood will be attached to a clamp on my desk, and it'll be clamped to the back of the desk, and I'll be able to move this around however I need to, that kind of thing, so. Yep, that's the plan. Okay. Homemade sable, uh, sable. <laughs> Let me try that again. Homemade table saw makes me nervous. Okay, here we go. Good Lord, help me.
let's see what happens. I'll either destroy it or it'll work. This. Oh, I think I'm going to destroy it. This is not going to end well. Well, I'm going to put on the concrete and just go at it. Uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, so I got it in there, but I did kind of destroy it. Can you see it? There it is. The teeth went in there and chipped it and everything. Ugh. Poor guy. Well, too bad because. I'm going to stick with it. Okay, everybody. Um, well, I'm finally at the stage where I can assemble this thing. But before I get to that point, let me show you something that I did off camera after the battery died. Uh, this was supposed to be supported by, you know, another little wooden assembly and I decided to forget that. I'm not going to go through all that. So I just have a hex bolt under here and the hole is a perfect size for the bolt. You know, these clamps already come with holes in them. I, you know, I guess they all do. I don't know. But this one did. And um, I just drilled a hole through this piece of wood that was just small enough to catch the threads of the bolt. Now when I put it here like this, you know, it wobbles around a little bit. So if I'm going to use this at my desk, I'm going to have to use an additional little piece of block and just kind of, voila. Now it, it, believe it or not, it does add a, a bit more stability. I could go even wider and put some more wood in there, but for now, That'll do. Anyway, assembly time. I hope the uh, the glue is strong enough to hold this part onto this part. As you can see, putting these T-nuts on it really chewed up these little, the smaller wooden piece. I'm hoping that the little, I don't know, teeth? Yeah, I think that's what they are. On the T-nuts will try to hold or work to hold the, uh, the little wooden piece together. Anyway, like I said, time to assemble. It is finished. Don't have a name for it yet. Don't think I'll come up with one. And the phone will sit on this end over here. Yep. I think that's going to work out just fine. I might have to find a stronger clamp though. That seems uh, stronger or smaller. I don't know. But uh, let me show you something. This original piece here was a bit more complex and considerably uglier. It turned out that car, it turned out that it didn't even fit my phone. So I made this simpler piece where the phone will just lay on top of it. Then I can use something like, I don't know, like a, a hairband or something. Um, you know, not scrunchy, but the hairband, the hair rubber bands. You know what I'm talking about. I can just uh, put it over the top of the phone so it holds in place. And boom, I'm able to record top-down video. So, anywho, 
this is the the bad boy right here I'm very proud of it myself and there it is from a different angle let me see here I'm gonna get a this little block of wood here I don't think it's the same weight as my phone but I don't care I'll just put it on top and see yeah oh yeah and so um, and so that's it that was the building process of this arm you'll notice that it's only two sections as opposed to the three sections during the assembly the build of it the third section is laying on the desk there and I found that having it as long as it was made the arm very wobbly I didn't want to have shaky video I suspect that a lot of that has to do with the wood that I used to the arms or the wood used to make the arms is considerably softer than the other wood. I guess I could go to Home Depot and buy some wood hardener spray. That might make it a little more rigid, but I don't know. Taking out that extra section seems to work just fine, so I'm not going to worry about it. Check this out. Oh, here we go. And there it is. And so when I want to do some drawing or whatnot, I'll pop this up here, I'll do my drawing. Uh, this is a rib cage in the pelvic area. This is, this is not, <laughs> this is an arm. I just happened to draw that in a way that it just kind of connected at the wrong place, if you will. But um, yeah, I'll just do it like this. I'll set the phone up, I'll do a time lapse. I use a program for Android phones. Well, I think it's for... It might be for Apple phones too, but I know it. you can find it in the Google Play Store. It's called Time Lapse. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It's called Lapse It. I bought the Pro version, so I have Lapse It Pro, but that's what I use to make the time lapse videos of me drawing this. And you can find the, what is it, the one video that I've made so far on my Instagram page and also my Tumblr page. Well, what to look forward to... I guess the next video I should make is the video on how I made the graphics drawing glove, you know, for the graphics tablets out of a dress sock. So thank you for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it. This is your pal Patrick wishing you a fond farewell. Farewell? Good day? I don't know. Thanks for watching another Isblab video. Have a great one, guys.